Hello everybody and welcome back. Today I built a couple's small beach home, part one. Which does not mean I did not finish the build in this video. This is a full build in this video. But I did get recommended to um, do a series of small, tiny, and then a micro home. So that's what I'll be doing. And I think I will be doing these special like build challenges or whatever every Saturday or Monday. Every Monday's build should be something special, I think. I'm trying to figure out a schedule of what I'm going to do. So just bear with me. <laughs> but this is the um, general shape of this house, which is it's more of like a little beach house. It's a big area to have such a small house on but I think I uh, took up the area on the outside pretty well so um we're just it's so pretty here in Solani and I haven't built here in a while so I was like I have to build here <laughs> so I'm I finished the outside structure of the house so I moved it to where I wanted it and then I think we will be going into landscaping after we're done painting the outside of the house which I try to make it look kind of like a hut even though it might not necessarily seem like it's a hut. But I made it look like a hut <laughs> because I thought it looked really pretty. So this is a one bedroom, one bathroom home. So if you wanted to, you might be able to fit another bedroom in there. But it probably wouldn't be a small home anymore. Unless you totally like renovate the inside of this house. So it's just for a couple... And I'm adding all my pretty Sulani windows from I'm Living. I always forget packs names and I'm like, what pack is this from? So I just um, add a few mint windows here and there, figuring out what I want. And I use this light tan color almost everywhere, like on the outside of the house. But I decided to switch up the wood coloring a little bit on the inside. Because it was just way too much. And then after that, finishing up on the outside of the house, giving it stairs, and it took me forever. So there's a um like ladder you can go off the house into the water on. Whenever I put that in, it took me forever to do because I could not find it. If you just look up Isle Living stuff, it's not there. So I had to like search for it and I finally did find it, but I cut out the entire time of me searching for it. So I had a few palm trees, maybe like four. <laughs> I think they're so pretty and I love that one leaning sideways. And I just thought it was gorgeous. And I like putting this plant in the water. I don't know if it's a water plant or not, but I thought it looked pretty. And there's lots of landscaped area. Like you can see here, this is basically what it'll look like. And I'm just adding some boats, some pool floaties, and some other things for your sims to do outside. And we'll be basically done with the outside and be going on into the inside. And this is whenever I'm working on the floor plan and I change it up so much. It... I have the bathroom over there by the bedroom. The bedroom stays the same, but then I had this weird long hallway, which I do keep. And it does all work out in the end, but it just, it was kind of hard to get it to go at the beginning. And I feel like I forgot a lot of things in this build, but um, we'll just say it works, okay? I totally forgot to um, put a pole outside so that the ceiling doesn't look like it's floating over that little balcony outside. But I think it looks fine-ish. <laughs> but I don't think you would notice it just looking at the build. But here's just the wallpaper and the flooring that I'm doing. And then we'll be going into the bathroom. Around this time, the recording starts getting a little choppy. I was um, going somewhere when I was recording this. I was traveling. So with the reception, it gets kind of iffy on how good it is. So I apologize for that, but 
it's a pretty build and I got it done so they gave me time to play my game yesterday which I really enjoyed I haven't been able to just sit down and play my game in such a long time so I think I think it's okay this build is so beautiful and so this is what the kitchen looks like and it's just a little simple kitchen and I l really wanted a circle dining table and that dining table just worked and so I I kept it it's not the one from Island Living it's one from I think laundry day but here's the little um the living room area and we've got the desk over there and this is the bedroom the master bedroom and I add these little poofs over in the corner and I thought they looked adorable back there I don't know it's just I was like poofs in the corner yes please I don't know why but the rest of this is basically me just decorating the house um I put lots of decorations in here and I wanted to really make the house look like it's lived in and I might have forgot toilet paper, but other than that, it totally looks lived in. So, just adding a few lights. And I love adding clutter. I didn't add too much clutter, but um, one of these sims, I made it so that one of these sims is going to university. So that's why they had the desk and the laptop. And so, they just kind of chill at home and work at university maybe the other one doesn't have a job yet or is going to university too I don't know you can figure out fill in the story with whatever you want but here we are working on this little hallway area which I think really worked because it gives you a door to the outside and door into the parents bedroom and I loved having or the adult the bedroom there's only one bedroom and I loved having the sliding glass door in there. I thought it looked really pretty. And still just adding a whole bunch of decorations in here. Like, how could I not? But this is basically it. Um, I'll just be rearranging some decorations here or there. But we'll be coming up to the end shortly. So if you guys did enjoy this build, please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I will be going into screenshots real shortly. And I hope you have a good day. Bye for now.